Hi students, welcome to Standard 7 Science Online Class. I hope all are safe and fine at home by the grace of God. Children, this is your uh, biology unit children, okay, cell biology. So last class we have uh, learned already children, unicellular organisms, okay. So multicellular organisms, now let's see children, okay. So already we have learned the different topics children. Today we are going to learn the important topic tissues. So you know children tissues is a group of cells already you know children so it is organized for a specific functions so you know tissues have following features like uh, same shaped cells or different shaped cells to form a common functions and you see the human and other animals are made up of what nerves and epithelial tissues connective tissues and mus muscle tissues everything and you see the plant cell children what are the tissues you see children see here you see the plant cell have transport protective and ground tissues so these are all the best uh, tissues children okay now let's see the important uh, very important topic okay cell you know cell is a basic structural and functional unit of life this is a very important two mark question define cell or what is cell you write the this two line the cell is a basic structural and functional unit of life. That's enough. And you know, cell is a building unit of living organisms. You can see the hand. Okay, so children, you see your hands. How many types of cells they are work together to form perform its functions, children? You know, yeah. Cell is uh, known as the basic unit of life. See your uh, hand, children. Yeah. How many cells they are perform? See here, bone cells. Uh, epidermal cells, muscle cells and nerve cell. How many cells they are perform children? Tell me four cells. What are the four cells? Bone cells, epidermal cells, muscle cell and nerve cell. So these are all the basic uh, plant cells uh, structure human body children. This is clear to the children? Yes. And now let's move for the plant and animal cell comparison. You know plant and animal cell comparison why do plant cell differ from animal cell children have any idea they differ each from the air because of their how how they are uh, perform the different functions okay and now you know there are many main similarities between the plant and animal cells children yes so see here human cells related to functions they are different types of cells so you, you take a human body children our body is made up of many different kinds of cells children each type of cell is specialized to perform the specific functions and depending on the functions okay cell has specific shape size and many have some components okay which other types of cells do not have you see have you look at the difference between the nerve cell and blood cells still run red blood cells never are nerve cells and red blood cells in your images still run yes so what are the difference between the nerve cell and red blood cells still run rbc so even though there are many different types of cells they are uh, working in our human body there are some components common all the types of cells and uh, we will uh, briefly see in the next section children now let's see what inside a cell what's inside a cell you see inside a cell there are many tiny structures called cell organelles that is called cell organelles so these cell organelles are responsible for providing the needs of the cell they work uh, to bring the food supplies and get rid of uh, waste and production okay and repair of the cell and helps to grow the and reproduce the again and cell that each has a uh, specific functions to do for the cell that's very important and it is uh, if in any one organelles will be they die okay any one organ they stop its functions the other cells is programmed to die this is clear to the children yeah and next the important topic cell structure you know children as I have mentioned before this all the cells have some common structure you know yeah cell membrane and cytoplasm so nucleus these are all the three important structure of the typical plant okay and the animal cell shows the following the peculiarities so what are the different types of common structures children cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus nucleus means it's most eukaryotic cells only not prokaryotic cells children nucleus having only the 
eukaryotic cells and now let's see the very important topic cell membrane so what is cell membrane children it is the boundary of the animal cell is the plasma membrane which is also called as a cell membrane it's very important two more question children what is cell membrane the boundary of the animal cell is the plasma membrane that's very important word which is also called as cell membrane and next see the important one cell wall okay so the cell wall means what supporter and protector from the cell plant cell and animal cell everything and see the all animal and plant cell are enclosed or surrounded by the cell membrane already you know you learned before classes okay so however you see they might have uh, noticed uh, previously that animal cell often have an irregular shape you see the animal shape, uh, animal cell children yeah that is irregular shape whereas the plant cell having a much more regular and rigid shape children so animal cell having a non rigid shape okay irregular shape but a uh, plant cell having a regular and rigid shape okay now let's see the plant cell having additional layer and the outer layer of the cell membrane okay this is called the cell wall this is called cell wall and provides a framework from the support and stability to the okay plant cell so here the cell wall is formed uh, from various components children the main one being cellulose cell wall is made up of what cellulose that's a very important one more question cellulose here cellulose helps to maintain the shape of the plant cell so this allow, allows the plant to remain uh, rigid and upright even grows to a great height so each cell is uh, interconnected with its uh, neighboring cells through the opening called plasmodesmata plasmodesmata see the picture children cell wall yeah so it will be connecting to the other uh, walls cell wall and cytoplasm then vacuole this is clear to children yes and uh, see the diagram children okay so then uh, children see the plant and animal cell comparison children now let's see the first one plant cell and see the it's a, a rigid shape children okay with having a protecting the cell wall okay see the diagram children yes on the first one cell wall see the structure children the outermost covering of the plant cell it maintain the shape and protecting the cell okay and see the next one is chloroplast see the green color chloroplast is a organelle they are characterized by its two membranes and the high concentrations of chlorophyll and carry out the photosynthesis already you know okay they are having a many types of chlorophylls they are present in the this type of uh, cells and next one is large vacuole so this is uh, filled with both inorganic and organic molecules along with the water to support their organelles this is clear to you children yes and the next one is what nucleus you know children the nucleus is the control the center of the cell is the longest organelle this is the nucleus children see the diagram center of the membrane and ribosomes is a minute particles consisting of rna rna means what ribonucleic acid ribonucleic acid they are synthesize polypeptides and proteins and next one is golgi bodies so here the golgi body is a complex of uh, vessels they are folded membranes they are involved in the secretions and intracellular transport that's very important and uh, see the mitochondria children so this is a mitochondria or organelles they are most of the cells supply the adenosine triphosphate atp adenosine triphosphate a molecule that cells use as source of energy main job to convert the energy that is very important the mitochondria children to convert the energy and see the cytoplasm children yeah this type of cytoplasm includes all living part of cells within the cell membrane okay but including the nucleus the last one is endoplasmic reticulum you see the endoplasmic reticulum children yeah so this is a network of membranous okay tubes you see the tubules children they are involved in the proteins and lipid synthesizes and see the animal cells children yeah see the animal cell yeah camel the example they are taking animal cell 
it will be present in the centriole see the centriole still run yeah it looks like a pencil okay tubes the centriole is a pair of minutes cylindrical shape okay involved in the development of spiral fibers in the cell divisions see the small vacuole children here here this is the large vacuole so animals have a cell having only a small vacuole and one more important it ha they have no wall cell wall only they present in the plant cell small vacuole is present filled with both inorganic and organic molecules along with the water to support their organelles this is clear to children yeah yes fine so this is the comparison of plant and animal cell this is clear to you children yes fine so today's class is over children next class i'll give you the plant and animal cell comparison okay see the next page children yeah see the activity 3 okay plant cell and animal cell comparison i'll give you the answers children okay this uh, photocopy i'll send so learn this uh, comparison between the plant and animal cell and diagram is this is the correct diagram children okay practice this diagram children plant and animal cell children it's very important five mark question children i'll give you some question answers and this activity 3 also children complete in your textbook itself children okay question answers write in your science class book note but activity answers also write in your science book only complete your assignment report in the group without fail thank you children god bless you